Meanwhile, two fellow Australians had arrived in Windsor, Jack Brokenshire, vibraphone, drums, and Bryce Road, piano. In 1954, with the addition of the American Dick Healy, bass, flute, alto saxophone, the Australian jazz quartet AJQ was born, initially backing singers such as Chris Connor, Helen Merrill, the great Billie Holiday, and, for a year, Carmen McRae. The band soon became a drawcard in its own right, recording seven albums across its quartet, quintet guises and constantly touring nationally. Booked by the same agency that looked after Louis Armstrong, Miles Davis and Dave Brubeck, it became one of the highest-paid jazz acts in the U.S. Its school's school aerated distinctive sound finding favor from colleges and clubs to Carnegie Hall. Three years in a row Bud also featured in Dan Beat magazine's prestigious instrumentalist polls. In 1958 the AJQ performed a string of farewell U.S. dates, toured Australia and broke up. Buddell settled in Sydney and, finding little jazz work, played extensively in television and recording studios for the next 15 years. In 1973 he formed the immensely popular Nolan Buddle Quartet with Colonel Nolan, organ, piano, which, in 1976, had a hit with a version of the theme from Picnic at Hanging Rock. In 1975 he toured Russia with the Daily Wilson Big Band, and during that decade also recorded extensively with the jazz composer John Sangster, as well as releasing Buddle's Doubles, on which he played nine instruments. He studied in the U.S. in 1978, and in the early 1980s showed he remained open to the new by forming a fusion band that included Mark Isaacs on keyboards. Later years included a return to Adelaide, AJQ reunions and the ongoing leadership of his own bands, in which he concentrated on tenor, making a magnificent sound while generating lines that were simultaneously relaxed, vibrant and propulsive. Buddle died on February 22nd in Sydney from heart failure. He is survived by his partner, jazz pianist Marie Steinway, and sons Lee and Perry from a previous marriage.